Hey everyone, Eddie Gray here with thepipenook.com and today we're going to start a new series. I'll do videos kind of like this just whenever the uh, whenever the need arises. Um, occasionally, we're going to call it uh, mail call at the pipe nook. So occasionally someone sends me a question via email uh, or on the website uh, through the contact page. Uh, just a, a question about pipe smoking or you know pipes, tobacco, anything related uh, to the things that I sell or just general questions about the mechanics of pipe smoking, that kind of stuff. And uh, so I always email that person back, but occasionally I'll print out uh, my email, both the question and the answer. And uh, I think some of some of those things could be shared as a blog uh, and as a companion video. So I'm going to start that today. The first topic uh, I've got here is Cobbs versus Briar pipes. So um, I'm going to read the question. I'm you know not going to give out names. Uh, so here we go. This question. Uh, which I've been sitting on this one for a little while. Uh, it says, I'm a Cobb guy, wondering if I should be a Briar guy. Will I experience a better smoke? Um, and he goes into some other detail, but that's the gist of that question. So here's, here's what I emailed him back. Uh, let's see. I personally prefer a briar pipe to a cob, but I still love my cobs. I'm actually wearing a Missouri Meerschaum shirt right now that I got at a pipe show. Uh, I'm always amazed at how well cobs smoke versus how cheap they are. But the stems are very cheap plastic and need replacing fairly often. The bowls are harder to clean, at, specifically at the bottoms, and the cobs themselves tend to separate over time uh, as they, you know, the heat expands and contracts those, those cobs. They're not meant to last forever, although I have one cob that I've probably smoked more than 200 times, uh, but it's definitely not pretty anymore. Briar pipes are more durable than that, and a good briar can last generations, if taken care of with regular cleaning and reaming when needed. Will a briar pipe smoke better than a cob? Honestly, I'd say that's debatable. Personally, I would say yes, but only slightly. However, when you put charcoal filters into the mix and taking into account that cob pipes will only accept 6 millimeter filters, including the Savinelli charcoal filters. I'd say that a 9 millimeter filtered briar pipe has the ultimate advantage for ease of pipe care, durability, and smoking properties, specifically for folks who uh, suffer from tongue bite or have to battle with tongue bite. Um, he also asked me uh, will a $200 pipe smoke better than a $100 pipe? And he's talking about, you know, price, you know, higher prices versus how much better a, a pipe will smoke. Um, so I said, does a $200 pipe smoke better than a $100 pipe? Well, again, that's a debatable topic, and there are many variables. Brands, series, filters finishes, shapes, etc. And there's room for opinion in all of that. Honestly, some people get lucky and find a $50 basket pipe in a local store that smokes as good as anything in their collection, up into the hundreds. But not everyone gets lucky. In general, I'd say that for pipes, as with other things in life, you typically get a better product if it costs more, but there is a law of diminishing returns. So a $70 briar may smoke 50% better than a 
briar. Uh, but a $140 pipe may only smoke 25% better than a $70 one, and so on. You know, there's that law of diminishing returns. Eventually, you get to the point, into the several hundreds or even thousands, where you're paying more money for super high-grade briar with no blemishes and gorgeous grain, bird's eye, straight grain, etc., or even paying more for a prestigious name. So I would say you never have to pay several hundred dollars to get a better smoking experience. Honestly, m my sweet spot of where quality meets value in the pipe world is around $75 to about $200. And I know that's a pretty big range. Um, but you can pay less and get not as good of a pipe. You can pay more uh, and get a better pipe, but that's the sweet spot. My favorite pipe is the Rattray's Beltane's Fire, which currently is $185 for the smooth finishes. I think $172 uh, as of this video uh, for the, the uh, rusticated and sandblasted versions. Anything beyond that $200 range, um, and you're really not paying for a better smoking pipe, but rather a prettier pipe, a higher quality pipe, not necessarily translating to a better smoking pipe. Again, that's debatable, but that's my two cents. I hope this helps. So that is my first, my first um, mail call at the Pipe Nook. Um, I hope that gives you guys, some of you guys probably have the same kind of questions, particularly if you're just starting out. So I wanted to share that with everyone, and uh, I'll make another, another one here in the near future. I might tape it today and just sit on it for a few days and, and put it out next week or something like that, because I am trying to make more quality uh, content for you guys uh, in 2022. So you guys be on the lookout for that. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed uh, to the channel. Uh, also, you can go to thepipenook.com and see what I have available as far as pipes and accessories. Um, and maybe sign up for my newsletter. Uh, I do have a blog section, which I may try to turn this into a blog as well. So be on the lookout for that. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Glad you got to see me. We'll chat with you later.